Hi guys, so today we are going to finish up pretty much what is required of the swap um, for the spring into Easter <laughs> stuffed and altered embellished or altered whatever, embellishment box card and treat swap. So um, if I have any links for any of the items, um, you know, I, I don't know if that's going to be the case, but there will be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you purchase items to those links. The reason I say that is because most of it's from like Hobby Lobby, uh, Michael's, um, a couple things from the dollar store, and yeah, I mean, things like that. And then obviously the basic things I use. But I uh, picked up some fun things. I already had picked up some fun things um, previously, so I have some of those to show you. Uh, recently picked up some other items and then uh, some... Uh, and we'll just go through it so uh, as I you know load them up so I do have everything cut for the second box I just haven't put it together yet so I'm still showing you the very first box that we made in the video which has that little shaker so the swap is full this video is just basically to clarify for the people who have signed up and for people to watch and have fun um, to know exactly what is required I didn't bring the guidelines with me but um, you've already heard from me I do have some people on wait list because um, they asked to sign up but it was too late it was already full uh, but I did have some folks saying that they may not be able to find the boxes so they'll let me know hopefully by the end of the week um, I might follow up with them and then you know the alternates that are on wait list can come in we'll see um, yeah so just the box itself has to be altered with at least four different things and so that doesn't mean just layers of paper it means like things you know like cuteness stuff whatever it is that you think that means but um i have my little lace i have my paper uh topper we have a shaker egg we have a little happy easter a little puff over here we have of course our little um uh, rabbit here little peter cottontail we have some leaves and then a little puff on this side just to kind of pull that together and so i pretty much covered up my paper but of course, that's not necessary. This is just an example, right, of what I'm asking for. Um, as far as the inside, the other rule was that um, it needs to have three handmade things. And I'm just going to run mine down right here, whatever it is I make. I'm going to place them here. And then everything else needs to be pretty much store-bought or whatever. Um, I ask that not everything just comes from the Dollar Tree, you guys. Uh, you know, be as generous as you can be. And, you know, not everything there is really made for, yeah, it fits, but it's not really made for paper craft. So just be mindful of that. I know I went to the Dollar Tree earlier um, and they had tons of cute stuff, but it's not really, it's for kids. It's not really for paper craft. Do not put party favors in here or things that would not actually work um, for paper crafting, okay? And, and you know, really think about what paper crafting, like what I mean by that. Um, you know, I was going to say I put three things down here, but I think I'm going to be using these little dividers because I have too many items that I really want to put in here, and I'm like, oh, the dividers, because that way I can still put a little bit of this and that. So the three things might be over here. Yeah, let's do that on top because over here I can just fill everything else up, and we'll go this way because this one has a divider here. But, um... Please, again, just be as generous as you can from wherever. It's not just a beading kit, so don't just put all beads. And if you do put beads, if you have, like, little, you know, findings, if you know about beading or making dangles and things like that, that would go with, you know, our different paper crafts and journals and stuff. Include some of those, too, because in case the person that you're swapping with has no idea, they don't have those things. And those things you can still use with your hands. You don't have to have a tool like this, but, you know, it'd be nice. So... Um, so three handmade things, and when I mean handmade, die cut, you know, obviously, you know, I don't know, whatever, whatever it is that you like to do. <laughs> I'm probably going to do like flowers, um, maybe some kind of bows, I don't know what I'm going to put in here. I do have a cute image on Cricut Design Space that I guess is from one of my old, um, really old things. It's like a little Easter egg guy, and hopefully he'll fit in here. I was trying to see, so the boxes themselves measure like, um one and a half inches and they're like you know an inch or so deep so I always keep that in mind when I cut things down and then I can try it. if it doesn't work I'll do something else but just to start off I already know I mean I pulled out all these different things that I wanted to use actually I want to use a little spoon oh here's my little spoon that Shireen sent me um so if I have things like this like this is confetti and it's or sequins and they're kind of small so I, if I put this in here at all I'm probably gonna put it in a bag so I'm gonna hold off on this it may not end up being in here because I already have too many things in front of me <laughs> that I wanted to include but that may not may not quite get there we'll see um I also have a set of like really cute uh, rabbit charms on order from Amazon they're just not in yet so whenever those get in I'll probably put them in with like the beads that I add because I'm gonna add some beads and um and then we'll also talk about the card and we'll talk about our treat okay so that's um 
is most important to talk about the tree it is the least you know feature in this this is really the bulk of the swap you're going to put your creativity and everything else in here of course your tree can be super cute whatever it just can't be the like the biggest all this stuff okay it just needs to be something small so we'll talk about that in a minute and i even went overboard when i went to uh, pick up some items so i'm gonna have to narrow that down to what i'm actually going to be putting in the swap itself so i think the easiest thing is for me to start off is just to start off with putting things in here that i already purchased so i do have these beautiful little flowers <laughs> i was just like how did these end up in here because <laughs> i was like ten dollars uh eyelets i have no idea how these ended up in here but you know so and when i'm filling this up I'm not going to squeeze those down. I don't want to smash them, but to fit in there. And they're really nice little flowers. That's great. Fill up the space. Um, and I know with some things you can think, okay, that's kind of overboard, you know. Like I have these little beads. Last time I used a different set. Uh, these are very Easter-y. And I would fill up this whole space with that. But I do have a bunch of other things that I want to use. And I want to use these. So I'm thinking about splitting like this and this. Some of these and some of these. We'll see when we get there. Not quite there yet. But whatever you put in there, please be generous. Fill it up. I know some things will be like, okay, I'm going to put a whole thing of sequins. Well, probably not. I mean, you're going to put a good amount. But really fill up the space. I have these little brads that I wanted to pop in here because they're very Easter-y. But they're similar, too. So let me pop these out. I don't know how many will look good with these guys. But they also look like these little half butterflies I have. So I'm like, okay, should they all go in the same spot? Should I put some here or there? And I don't know, but let's see. So green, pink, and blue. I'm just trying to put a nice assortment in here. We have those. We have these, two pink and two yellow, let's say. Let's see what that looks like. And this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take time to just kind of make a nice um, batch here. So then we have these guys, and they're very similar. That's why I'm like, do I want to take up space or you know what I'm saying just think about how you want to put things out please don't make it super hectic like I am mixing these two and honestly I don't want to but I just think they kind of coordinate so I might as well actually I'll do that whole thing and then for the next one we have pink green blue pink blue blue okay well uh, and then I have one left over now I'll put it there and then these guys will go in the next set and I don't know if you noticed that pretty much to fill this up and make it look really nice it took the whole case of what was in here and that's fine I have a whole other one so um these guys like maybe not everybody would use something like this on their uh, stuff so that's what I'm saying just think about think about the things you use and what's actually usable you know so this is really cute I mean I would put this on like this box or something so I'm not gonna put too many of this for this one I think I'll just do a few and they can go in like a space like this right because although they're cute maybe it's not you know, it doesn't need to be a whole 40 of them or whatever <laughs> fits in here, you know? Okay. And again, please, please, please include things that are usable. And not just like a bunch of hectic, weird, crazy things that are all together in one little space. Like, it's brads, it's eyelets, it's this, it's that. It's like, mm, don't do that. Please don't do that. It, it's just, it's, it. I'm not the most organized people person. You guys know that. <laughs> but like when I see something like that, it makes me like, I don't know what to do with this. It's too much stuff. Okay. So that's why I want it to be very organized and very neat when you're packing your, your little areas. So, you know, now I have the space and maybe I'll put oopsie, something, Phil, something else there. I have these really sweet little flowers and like I have this like peachy color that would be really nice for Easter. So I'm going to bend these. Not too much, but in a way that I can put them, you know, in here or whatever. I actually, that's going to be my handmade things. And let's put these here. Super cute. I mean, that's a good bunch. It takes up the whole space. For the next one, I'm going to pick out a different color that's springy. Maybe this light blue. Maybe the pink ones are so cute. For the next one, right? For the other guy. Um, I do have wood veneer pieces. I know not everybody uses wood veneer things, but these are so cute. So I have, like, these little eggs. And... I want to see how they fit. That's the other thing. <laughs> so I have like little carrots. And with this kind of thing, I would just put it like on a little pinwheel or do something cute like that. And it's already like a little decoration. I have those guys. I do have the bunnies and the chicks, but I feel like not only may they not fit, but um, the chick is kind of weird. <laughs> I like these shapes because they're like outlines. Super cute. Let me see how these might best fit. Ooh, oh, now look, they fit laying down. That's what I'm saying. It's an inch and a half, so, you know, whatever it is that you got to do, I don't think this is going to... Oh, I was going to say, I don't think it's going to make a difference, but it made a little bit of a difference, huh? No, no, no. Bunny doesn't want to fit. 
maybe one bunny. I really want to put a bunny in this. <laughs> uh, if I can get that to work, I will do that. If not, not. I just, you know, obviously don't want to shove things in here that are just not going to fit. And hmm. Okay, bunny may not fit. Um, I'll probably add something else. The little chicks are, eh, they're okay, but they are a little big too. I don't even know if they'll fit. So I'll try to get a bunny in there. And if I can't get it there, maybe I can put it somewhere else. See, that's interesting. He wants to fit. He just needs the right spacing. Maybe I'll move these guys. So again, I'm just playing around. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just putting things in here. And, oh, this bunny. He's going to make it so... That's all right. All right. One bunny. That's what fits and it fills up. So, okay. Um, I do have these little stickers. Again, I don't want things that are, and I even say I, like, okay, obviously for the swap. It's not to just include stickers that are for children and then, you know, I, I think it, again, we're all grown ups here. <laughs> um, do we have kids? Yes. But this is uh, our little gift for us. I got these because I thought they were super adorable. I don't know. We'll see. Obviously, they have to be crunched a little bit because they're this now oh little carrots but i also for these got and those are clearly from uh the dollar tree uh let's see i had picked up these other ones and i'm not sure oh you know what see that's another thing i wanted to use these guys because they're so cute um i totally forgot let me see oh and then even though this is kind of like an item that isn't like oh that's so cool uh, we can all use these dots so I don't know I may include some of those I I grabbed them for that intention but at the same time this is already getting pretty full so maybe not because I have other things I wanted to include okay where is oh see I got these too and I'm now I'm not probably not gonna use that either <laughs> I thought these are really cute look at that big old pom-pom maybe we'll see oh my lunch is ready okay hold on let's see yeah maybe i'm not gonna do the carrots i don't know because these guys are really big <laughs> these are very child looking too and then of course when i get home i'm like mm, maybe not maybe not what i wanted to use yeah i'm not gonna do that so let's not do that um let me think if i'm even gonna do these guys i'm just trying to see how much i have of what um in these areas i want to use those little bits um let me uh look at what i have sitting here again i'll be right i'm back. still thinking like i have that nouveau i want to use in here possibly i was gonna buy these little jars but i have tons of them here so i need to just find them um this is really cute like it's so cute but honestly i mean i don't know it it feels really nice too actually they did a pretty good job i was like let me see how ratty this thing looks like that's something you even want to include and it's actually really really cute but i don't know and then i had got these because i thought these were so cute these big old pom-poms i mean you guys but at the same time do i want just a pom-pom take up the whole space but then i thought well these are the smaller ones it's still cute right and what i would do with this is like put it on a journal or you know what i'm saying put it on a dangle but you guys i'm gonna say nah but, you know, if you want, if you have, you want that to take up a whole space, that's up to you. I'm not going to use them today. We'll have to figure out something else for those. I do have um, some seam binding, which I love to use. And this is white seam binding. You can color. Well, it's actually a little bit off-white. But you can also color this with, um, what's it called? Uh, alcohol ink markers. So I think what I'm going to do with this one is, again, in a space that has... the two areas. I'm just going to wrap and wrap and wrap a ton of this. I mean, I don't even know how much this is, but we'll just keep going until I feel like that's good. <laughs> and then um, I'll do the same thing with this other lace that I was thinking. Oh, look at that. Two finger width is like perfect. I'm already running out of space. See, this is <laughs> not easy. So I'm going to put that guy in there. And I think what I'll do is in this same spot is also put some of these guys because they're handy. That's why I picked them up. So I figured, you know, it's a little craft box. Because I need to do my three handmade things here. I still have these other bead things. I might do a whole pot of these, honestly. Because you can use these up, like, really fast. If you're just putting them on cards and things. I'm trying to think what else. Oh, but I have a beads that I want to use. Uh, okay. <laughs> Let me see how I can get this. Now, I would just, like, cut down this way. But I think it's probably better if I cut them like this. So 
So let me cut these down and we'll see if these fit without being kind of like, ugh. I'll be right back. Popping them in here, but I'll show you guys. I just put them together and there's five sets here. But in this same spot, I also wanted to add some lace. So let's open this guy up. I'm telling you in my head, I'm like, I also had this pom-pom trim I want to do. Like, there's no way we can do all of that. So I guess I have to pick what I want to do. And this one we're going to do a little bit less so that it fits in there nicely. Because this stuff is bulky anyway. You know, it's bulkier than seam binding. Seam binding is pretty thin stuff. And I'm just going to pop that in here. Aww. Okay, so that's like stuff you work with, you know, whatever. Uh, we have our little flowers in here. Um, I'm still trying to decide. I did want to add some beads. And again, I have charms also to show up. And I brought out all the beads I was thinking I want to use, but who knows what will actually end up fitting because <laughs> these beads are so bulky. You can usually put like just a few in. So like I want them to be very Easter-y. So let's say those. And I brought out these light blue ones, but I don't know if I'm going to find a light blue one small enough to fit in there and look cute. These are all kind of big. Okay, ooh, there you go. I have some charms still, and then I'm going to put bead findings. And what I mean by that is just like... Oh, yeah, yeah, let me see if I can find some. I'll be right back. Okay, this little Tim Holtz Charmy Charm, I think that'll be good. Again, this is all kind of similar stuff, so I'm just going to pop this in here. It'll sink down to the bottom at some point. And then in that same spot, I'll include the stuff for the beading. And I purposely had picked these up from Hobby Lobby. Or they have them everywhere. I'll link them in the description box. Just shorter head and eye pins so that they fit in here. Because otherwise, they're usually like two inches or three inches long. So I'm just going to throw in a few. I probably don't even need that many because there's only four beads. And then when I do the charms, it's just going to be a few more, right? But you never know. So it's like about ten of those. And then uh, jump rings. I'll include some of these bigger ones and several of the smaller size. So no, that one looks busy, but it's all beading in this area and I will put the little charms. And they are so cute, you guys. They're like little Easter bunnies and some of them look like, um, what's her name? Uh, <laughs> what's her name? <laughs> uh, Alice in Wonderland, like super cute. Okay, whatever fits there. Um, I'm starting to think what I was going to do with these, but I guess, yeah, I guess I'm just going to... This is like, oh, so bittersweet because I still want to like pick different things. <laughs> That's why I already took time picking out different things. So we would just get to it. Let me open this up. I'll be right back, you guys. I was just thinking, I still have to ooh, use my little confettis, whatever it is, but I guess they can go on this other side, right? That'd be good. And then three handmade things. And then these two. Aww. It makes me so sad. And I guess that's probably another reason why people, you know, would just put a bunch of things in one spot. But please don't do that. Make it so that, you know, people's brains don't melt when they see it and just are overwhelmed. Am I the only one like that? I'm, I, I don't know. I think a lot of people are like that. Maybe you have a lot, just it's overwhelming, right? Um, okay, so I'm going to take 45 minutes and fill this up. <laughs> and then this other one, too. So these other little guys. Oh, these are so cute. And if you really want to curate them, I mean, like, things like this, I would go through them like this little flower definitely needs to go in there. If you want you know, you're keeping a color theme. As you can see, mine are, like, pastel colors, mostly. This guy kind of fell outside that line. But um, I'm trying to make it look nice. So I'll be back. Hey guys. So yeah, no, I did when I saw it curate them. Like I took these out because these are too bright, you know, for like the pastel and everything. Too much. So that's out. And then um, I guess the only last thing I have is that little sweet confetti. Again, I wanted to put this in here because it's really pretty. Um, maybe, I don't know. I mean, the carrots kind of are glaring, right? But they're so cute. I don't know. Um, what I was going to do is these, and I have different color ones. I mean, look at the little flowers on here. They're so cute. And again, I don't know. I know these will fit in there just fine. But like those little flowers are kind of small. So they probably start going all over the place if it weren't in a jar. And people put things in jars last time and they're so cute and it works and it looks really lovely. Of course, they need to fit. I'm just trying to see about how much of this would actually go in there. Ah, okay. Hey, why don't you guys go all over the place? That'd be great. <laughs> Um, okay, so I'm just going to fill up that whole area. I bought like 10 of these packages, just so you know, because I'm like, oh, I'm putting these in shakers, these little bunnies. <laughs> so, I have plenty, plenty to share. Now there's some bright green in there, which isn't great, but at the same time, 
I know we have Easter grass and all that, so. Um, there's that. Super sweet, I think. So, these carrots may or may not make it to the end. I don't know. We'll see, guys. Because, like I said, I rather have a couple other things maybe I want to pop in there. We'll see. They're just so cute, though, right? Can you put them on a little something? I don't know. Okay. Um, now in here, we are going to make some stuff. Uh, I do have a little item in Cricut that I would like to cut out. So, I'm going to try and do that. Um, and I'll be right back. It's a little bit dark. I just want to show you real quick what I'm trying to cut. Look at this little character. Oh, he has a little egg. I don't really know if you're supposed to put him in the egg. Or I guess he's supposed to be sticking out of the egg. I have no idea. <laughs> but it's so cute. So uh, I'm going to use the Joy, but I'm going to click on Make It. Sorry. I just wanted to show you for any material. Just in case you're new to your Cricut Joy Explorer whatever. And I'm going to make four of them. Possibly six. Eh... Let's do four, because I, I I'm trying to make it as big as I can. That'll still fit in that little hole, so it might only be a couple that I can get in there. But look how cute! And then I just did four, and then I... Sorry, I said four, and then I clicked Apply, and it'll put all four cuts, you know, on the same page or whatever. So you have all four. All right, guys. Uh, hopefully this is big enough, because I know this is very small, and sometimes Cricut doesn't do small too well. But, all right, oh I'll be back. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is cutting out so cute. Let me see if it did a good job, and then we'll know. <laughs> look at that. I know the lights are still off, sorry, but look how cute. Okay, and since I'm lazy, what I do is I turn it around, and then I do the other side, like I'll run through the next thing, which is actually black paper. And, um, and then I go from there, <laughs> and then I take everything off. And sometimes if you move the characters, you don't even have to do that. And also, if you want to make everything one color, like on the canvas, and then you see over here where you cut what, I would make like a little quilt of paper, basically paper here for that color, paper here for this thing. But basically your papers have to be the same weight or go with like the most pressure or the most, you know, the, the highest paper weight that needs to be cut and then let everything else cut that way. But hopefully that makes sense. So right now I'm choosing heavy cardstock because that's what this is, but I'll be back. How cute goodness look at these little guys and this is the one I was worried about because this is the smallest thing you know with the detail with the eyeballs but I did uh, heavyweight cardstock so it cuts three times and so it had three chances of cutting the little hole so pretty good all right I'll okay, keep going guys this is so cute look I already put the layer on top of the black layer his little ears and then we're gonna get the little ears that are on this um, mat and stick those down with let me get a different nope that's not it <laughs> I wanted to get one of my pokey tools that wasn't covered already. So, um, I'll take his little ears. And I think the little egg is just going to go along with it. I don't really know what to do with it. I don't know if he's supposed to be in it or sticking out of it like this. So it looks like he's coming. I have no idea. So I'm just going to include the egg with it. And my partners can do what they like with that. And there's that. And then all these little pieces up here. <laughs> the little beak and feet and everything so i'm gonna glue all those things down and i'll be right back okay guys so i have my little people cut out now i was planning on doing two and two but i don't know maybe it's gonna have to be a few more i might have to just do a whole other set <laughs> we'll see whatever fits in here um with their little eggs right so that's one handmade or however you want to look at it because i used to crick it i'll probably um find some flower dyes that i want to use we're in here too. Oh yeah. Look at that. Okay, so let's just do four and I'll do a whole other set of four. I must love y'all because that took forever. <laughs> My back is hurting. Um, all the little pieces, but they're so cute, you guys. Okay, so... You know what? I'll probably do the next two a different color. So there'll be two of one color and two of the other color. That's what I'll do. Because it's a lot of blue ones, you know? And so we have our little guys. And then here I'll probably do some kind of handmade flower and, you know, some bows or something else. But handmade. Whatever is... Oh, actually... Oh, I forgot. I was going to do... These kind of things. Um, let me think how I want to do this. Because, I mean, we make flowers of all sorts. It's not, like, the biggest deal. What I want to do with this is fold it in half because I want to make a small circle or a small pinwheel kind of thing. Uh, this is about maybe 12, 13 inches. I don't know. I'm going to cut that. So that's about an inch. I'm probably going to take off a little off of that, too. So I have two layers here because we the way I crunched it up. And I'm going to make, like, a little rosette. And on top of the rosette, I wanted to put something like a little Easter egg or a little something that's Easter-y. I don't know. 
but as you see I'm just going pinching making sure it's meeting in the center that one's a little too big but what I was thinking is I'm probably going to run this through with a circle die just to make sure we're good to go if I don't need too much more well let's do another little another little bit it's already doubling up there I'm going to tuck that if you want to, but I don't think it makes much difference. Uh, let me get my little... Whatever stapler you have, but the tiny attacher obviously is going to make smaller bits. Look at that, you guys. Now, I would do that, but see, it's a little too big. So what I'm going to do is actually run this through with a circle die. Hopefully I have a circle die that's smaller. Um, hope I don't make a mess here. We were just talking about our binders and folders and how we put things away and I'm like I always keep this one like it's what it is so as you can see I totally put things away after I use them <laughs> I just shoved it in there oh my gosh look this has a cute little Easter set a little oh my gosh you guys oh look at the little eggs okay well I could have cut that out but I didn't um what am I doing oh I wanted a circle die oh yeah I totally put things away always <laughs> put that over there Put this over here and let's see how big is this circle this is an inch and a half that's perfect so I'm just gonna run this through my die cutting machine just like this guys and it'll make like a perfect little circle for us okay, okay I just ran it through the marquee I still haven't replaced this from the other day but it popped out I should probably put some glue or something does it go that way does it go this way I guess it goes this way all right and I'll probably make a couple of these because of course we want them to be on there but look at that perfect circle now of course we're gonna fluff it out because that's the whole point of that but of course when you run it through your machinery it flattens out so I will puff it up just a little bit oh my goodness and now I'm gonna think about something to put in the center there so I'll be right back can't with the cuteness of this look at this <laughs> now I know oh, I've been messing with this lighting it is always blown out like honestly right now if I mess with it you're gonna see it's just like that's a lot darker but that's a little better right cuz hmm I don't want darker but geez I don't know. Um, <laughs> how cute! That little chicky there. Now, do I want him glue him down or do I want it to use a different kind of... I, I don't know. I haven't thought about that part yet. Because it is kind of plasticky, so it's probably a little bit see-through. And... Hmm. Debating which one I want to use. And I'm just going to put him straight down on here. Now, you know, most of the time when people do something like this, they add like a little... Maybe another circle or a little heart or something else, right? And then you add your little characters. But I think I'm just going to do something simple like this because I think that's very cute. So I'll make a few of those with different little chickies or whatever else I might put on there. Just centering them. Actually, what I'm going to do is turn him the other way. Turn him this way. Again, not too much glue because it is crepe paper, so it takes glue kind of funny. Look at that little guy. Now let me see how cute that is. <laughs> <laughs> yes okay um, and then I'll make more of those and I'll make like handmade flowers or something to go in here but again handmade or die cut whatever it is um, and I guess that's all full so now let's move on to talking about our card as far as our card goes you now this is kind of funny because I still haven't finished up the second case and maybe I'll put a gnome on there I probably won't it'll probably be the same because like I said I want to encourage you guys to do them the same but the card needs to be a handmade card with at least three different embellishments on it. So, like, I just re did this one for the Spellbinders review, and this is too cute not to put out in the world. So this is Nomi Kisses and Spring Wishes, and that will be my card. On the back, I'll put my little, you know, made by, or handmade by Vienna Creates. I have stickers that I put on there. Um, this is the one I made the other day for LDS Creative. Obviously, they're different. I know last swap, people coordinated them with their toppers, which is gorgeous. If you want to do that, I highly recommend it. It's very pretty. If you want to make whatever cards you like separately, go ahead. Um, I would encourage you not to sign this card, so that way you're... Um, the person who receives it can give it away if they would like, you know, to uh, put that out in the world. But if you want to sign it, go ahead, you know, that's fine. Either way. So I have this one with Wishing You a Lovely Day. Again, very springy and sweet with our little duckies. So that will be the one I put here. Now, this time again, three or more embellishments, like layers. Like I'm not saying two pieces of paper counts as 
three, you know, or the one, two, and that's the base thing. Like, you know, so that's one. And then, you know, a couple other things. I don't know. I have my sentiment. I have my little guys. Is this not three layers? <laughs> three embellishments? I don't know. This is what I'm trying to say. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I obviously have two characters, a little bit, whatever. But it has to be more than just like paper, like a note card, okay? But at least three different things. So I would include, I would say those are different elements. Um, and then, um, you know, this one has its little layers too. So cute. Oh, lo, lo. Okay. Um, <laughs> that's enough of that. Uh, the card needs to be five by seven. Uh, no larger than a 5 by 7 and, and not a slim line, just because they were hard to put in the packaging last time and they kind of got crushed and I know I sent it off in a way that probably got crushed and I tried to do my best but I don't know because they have to go like lengthwise underneath both swaps and you know if they package their swap one way I gotta put the thing this way it's uh, it, not good so uh, put it together like that and I'm not done with this yet but I will show you how I would package it so let me grab that because I do like to keep these two together that's just how I do it like my cards down here it's being protected I put it face down. If you want to put it in the envelope, of course, that's great too. Just makes it easy for me to open it up and show it if it's like that. Put it in the envelope, that's fine. I'll be right back. So I have these cool bags from Amazon. Let me back up a little bit. Is this still dark? A little too dark, huh? And that's how I package mine. I haven't really closed this, so that's going to add a layer of problems for me. <laughs> Especially all those little things. I probably should close it. I'm just gonna get this in here. I'll link these guys. I really like the way they feel. They're really nice and sturdy. And that is gonna hold this together. And that's an easy way to unwrap it. People wrap their things all different ways or, you know, just package it together however you can. I mean, I would. If you want to put the card separately and the treat separately, that's fine too. But uh, this makes it easy to just kind of grab and put away. And this fits perfectly in there with plenty of room for our treat. And so I will work on the treat next. Okay, guys the treat part. It can be literally anything. So when I had gone to the Dollar Tree, um, you know, I was, of course, we're looking for socks. Look how cute. I mean, that one has the little chick theme, but this are, they have gnome ones and it says, hello spring. <laughs> so I was like, yeah, I am so happy that they're putting the image on both sides. Is that what it takes for a dollar and a quarter? I guess, because for a dollar, they're only putting the image on one side, like the left side on both socks or on the right side on both socks. <laughs> and it would be on these sides of your feet. You know what I'm saying? Um, really weird and it wasn't even that you can buy lefts and you can buy rights it was just everybody had only one side so um, I'm really glad to see <laughs> that they have these I bought too many so I will pick you know whichever two I'm going to put in the thing right now I think I'll work with a little chicky the no one can go with the other thing uh, I don't know these are also cute look at oh this one does say spring on it though so let's say that and then they have these little silicone um, molds that are bakeable up to like 400 and some odd degrees. So I grabbed some to give away and I grab, or to put in my swap and I grabbed some for me to uh, keep. <laughs> so I have that. So I was thinking about that. Look at the thickness of this. It's not that thick. That's why I was like, okay, this will work pretty well. Also, it's silicone so it can fold or bend and stuff. I did get some little Easter grass that's like crazy colors. So I'll put this in. This I'm just going to put into a regular like see-through party bag, you know, um, which I didn't grab, but maybe I will, so I can do that. Um, so I had two of those. So let's say this is the gnome one. Oh, that works out because there's a little blue in there. And then um, the reason I actually went to the Dollar Tree was only to get the candy that I thought I was going to get, which was uh, the little, like, you usually have like a little carrot looking thing that has like jelly beans in it. They didn't have it. Well, at least not yet. But they had these guys. This is so cute. So I grabbed these. Now, as you can see, I'm pushing that in there. It's not going to look perfect. It's going to wrap around like this. It's just a wrapper. That's fine. That's a, quite a few things already. You do not have to do that. You can just include something like this. It's really cute. Maybe put a little something like that. Super cute. I grabbed these candies because I didn't know if this was going to fit or if this would fit better. These are super adorable. You can put a topper on it and it's even cuter, more personalized, right? So let's say we had that. Sure. Um, they also had these little spatulas that were adorable. So I'm going to put one in each. And of course, oh, I'm so silly. I thought this... I didn't realize these already coordinated, you know what I'm saying? Um, but what I wanted, ooh, I think what I wanted to do was, the second one isn't super Easter-y or springy. So like this one does have a little Easter bunny on it. I'm gonna put it in there like that. And then, oh, but it is kind of sweet with the cotton tail and all that, right? And somebody had mentioned when I showed this in my video um, earlier that this would be good for maybe spreading like pastes and stuff, right? Sorry, I didn't mean to do all that. Of course, you're going to wash these things if you're going <laughs> to use them, but okay. So that all fits pretty well. Let me see about getting a um, 
a gift bag. I would like to wrap up this video, and I don't know where I put my clear bags right now, but they're they're around. I forgot. I also got this. <laughs> Since I was saying, I know, I know, we want to be like super generous. Think about the things that you're getting and that would stay flat-ish. I mean, look at this. If I really compress this, this is like maybe maybe an inch and a half, right? So I might have room for this little guy in here. I might not. If I do, well, it's really cute facing up, but I'd rather put him face down just so he's not, you know what I'm saying, everything is going into this reservoir. Perfect. Okay, this one too. Everything going down in there. Very good. Um, I probably won't do this one, but either way. No, maybe it, it just depends on which one fits better. I think this fits better because the little eggs kind of mold to everything. Let's pretend this is a clear bag. It's not, but let's pretend it is. Let's pretend I'm going to put some of this stuff in here. Oopsie. See, I told you I wanted to wrap up. I am on it you guys okay so I'm gonna put some little Easter grass in here and then I'll put my little treat in here you can take the tags off the socks if the things like that that help you make things fit you know go for it um, like I'm gonna make sure the spoon is kind of sideways okay so let's pretend that's that tie it up at the top I actually have these cute little Easter bunny things I got at the Dollar Tree they're like little um, characters I'm just gonna make one put one together and stick it on here it's like a little flat like make your own character thing stick it on there of course we're gonna close this up and so when it gets sent it's gonna be like this and this will fit actually I'll probably do it this way will fit in the packaging this is not a problem I mean look at that it's probably four or five inches wide again I included way too many things because I found a lot of cute things but <laughs> let's say you just want to do the lip balm you just want to do the chocolate you just want that's fine just one little thing if it has to do with crafts awesome if it's you know uh, one of my gals had mentioned that maybe she wanted to do wax seal uh, the little bits and I was reading I'm like oh I don't know because not everybody has like the little um, uh, spoon and she's like oh and I would include a spoon and a, a stamper I'm like yeah that's exactly the kind of thing like something small awesome that's perfect um, any you know I, I don't know I had mentioned if you had three in one tools like you could pick up and that'd be a good gift because uh, everyone has them but they're great for paper crafting maybe you don't have it um, uh, duplicate set of dies that you have you know that's still packaged up and nice or whatever something like that something just a small treat but it doesn't have to be everything I probably did the worst example for you guys because I'm like okay this is a lot but you saw how flat it got right not a problem it needs to be pretty flat you guys just really impress upon that especially if you made your your swap bulky because this is literally how it's going to go into the packaging and then the other person that your uh, swap partners also get goes here you know into the uh, flat rate envelope so like you need Sorry, to be there was a uh, check on <laughs> this for some reason anyway I would say just be respectful of like the space that everyone's going to have in this envelope right this is your space and this is another person's space <laughs> and the height right again I told you guys the inches on this um, it probably opens up to like eh, five inches or so of height right uh i would say four go for four <laughs> all right guys so anyway um yeah i think that's it i think that's everything and this is like i said it's already closed but if uh you hear from me for the people who are on the wait list it's because somebody dropped out because they couldn't find the case so have fun i'm gonna keep working so i'll have a couple things i guess that'll be a surprise because i'm gonna do a couple more obviously my handmade things uh for the reveal but um i think that's it guys please send in your swaps by the uh 26th March 26th, that's a Saturday, like I said, during the day, and that's the la last day. Please get on it. If you can get on it and send it in early, I would be super happy because um, something invariably always happens. Always happens. <laughs> so as soon as you can get them in, please do. Um, thanks for watching. I hope uh, that was fun for you guys. And I, you know, I, I just, these are so much fun. So I'll see you guys um, at the next one. All right? <laughs> Bye now.